What's up, Raft Gang? So I'm going to start at the very bottom of the build. Uh, this here is something I bought uh, because the the standard riser, the standard riser here um, only lifts it up a foot. It adds a foot. And, uh, you know, I'm being, you know, 6'2". I needed to be a little bit higher, so I scoured the internet and I found this piece here. It's a, um, it's a home appliance furniture stand. Uh, quail, quail, quad lift, quad lift. All right, got this on eBay, quad lift. And basically, uh, you're able to put uh, heavy appliances on top and you're able to uh, uh, adjust the height and stuff on it. So here it is, it's fully built. Uh, but what's, what's really unique about it is those fall out. Uh, is these uh, little legs here, these little feet just rotate and, and adjust the height. And uh, these pieces you can adjust, you can expand it up, down, left, right, and then lock it in once you have the right the dimensions. Um, and then these little rubber pads here, they just kind of stick there. So when you put your appliance or arcade on it, it's not going to move. It's got that rubber pad in there, so that sticks. They also gave you some um, uh, little leveler, level, 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 levelers, levelers, you know, a little bubble inside the liquid. You put that inside here and you're able to adjust the height to make sure it's all even when it's on the surface. So sometimes it might go up and down in certain, certain spots. So I get to rotate those feet and make sure it's all flat and level. So that's really cool. So with that being said, guys, um, I'm going to build the riser now and then the riser will go on top of here and that'll add another five inches of height. Uh, along with the, the foot here. So that's going to be great when I'm standing up. It's going to be awesome. So that's really cool. Called the quad lift. So now I'm going to start unboxing this and then uh, get this one put together and then uh, go from there. All right, be right back. All right, so this here, of course, is an absolute must. I mean, you got to get the actual riser. This is the, the basic generic one. Um, but of course, there's lots of places out there that sell you the completely customized modded ones for more money of course uh, but I'm gonna start with this and also I can also buy a decal if I wanted to and then lay a sticker over the front and sides um, so I can do that later right now I just wanted to get the riser installed so with that being said let's get this unboxed you know what time it is black pin okay, there. And here we go guys we are officially beginning install okay to be up there all right instructions and you get the screw kit and you get the uh, looks like uh, six six boards to this so all right, I'm going to get started on installing this. All right, guys, here's the riser I'll put together. It is awesome. Very strong, very sturdy, reinforced. Very good. Highly recommend a uh, uh, you know, power drill here. And uh, what's great about the power drill is if you keep the torque at a low setting, you're not going to strip anything. It's just absolutely perfect. So I, I, I keep mine on level three. It's a Black & Decker level three torque. And then it stops. It's awesome. All right, guys, so the riser is done. Um, so basically, look at this. So. Let's put this on top of the, the furniture lift. So you see here, awesome. All right, so now I put this on here. Let's turn it around here. Like this. And I can fine tune it so it fits perfectly. So I just gotta squeeze it in. Both sides, squeeze in some more. So that's awesome. So now, now I can lock it in and I already have another five inches. This is sweet, so it's up higher. So now when the arcade's up, 
Oh, it's going to be just perfect for me. Perfect. All right, guys. So now moving on to the main event. Let's get the arcade built. All right, Wrath Gang, about to unbox the uh, arcade legacy Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. So I'm just going to take out the boxes inside and then uh, start building. Here we go. All right, guys, so this is the control board, the new one. Uh, basically, this is this is basically Mortal Kombat and the other 11 games. Um, cool, but we don't need it. Um, it's got the audio jack output here, power on, and then the light there. So, cool. Uh, but the new one here, we're going to connect to the monitor here. And uh, this will give us the HDMI port and the audio port to the speakers, and then the grounding screw, which we'll put right there. But uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, so I have the new, the new uh, VGA module or HDMI module to the monitor. Got that uh, screwed into a cardboard piece to keep it separated from the, the metal backing here, and then just kind of stick this other piece here. Right now I'm just getting these little white pegs installed here, so uh, keep going. All right, guys. Current progress. We got the the first riser with the second riser. And the, the war zone of plastic and things and tools and garbage and old old speakers like really N not not happening here no uh, the old uh, control the basically the game right there and uh, little bits and pieces and uh, so far so good. Dun, 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 dun. So far, so good. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 We're getting there. And then now, we're going to start working on this. That bag. Right here. And then we can put it here. So that is the stage. So let's uh, let's keep chugging. All right, Raf gang, we're gonna change these uh, gates here on the Senwa joysticks. Uh, I have already done this one. See, this is the uh, this is the factory one here, the standard uh, square shape, and then this is the uh, octagonal stair shape there. I also um, took out the old weak one pound screw probably and put in the uh, the four pound screw so this has got more tension to it feels really nice but uh yeah okay so let's uh let's do the other one so basically you want to get this piece off here this gate and you want to just kind of push in these black tabs here and you want to do them kind of at the same time a little bit you kind of push it in a little 
open each one. We'll loosen it a little, loosen it a little. And you'll kind of feel it kind of raise up a little bit. You know, and just like that. We'll take that guy off there. And then you want to lift this piece out. Lift that out like that. And then this is the this is the hard part here. So you gotta push out push out this little ring right here. Push that out. But you gotta hold on to the uh the plastic, otherwise it'll fly up because of the spring. So this is really tricky. So it's gonna use a Phillips screwdriver here, a skinny one here, and just start to uh pull this out. Okay, once you get that ring out, the bottom falls out. It's got a grease on there, so be careful not to rub too much of it off. And then this top part pulls off, and then you take the, the screw out, or the spring, and you put the good one in there, the nice one, push that back down, hold on to it, push the shaft back through the hole at the bottom. Make sure you don't lose that little white circle inside there don't 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 mess up the the configuration of that and just push this through and then you just got to keep keep tension on it so you can get that uh, little ring back on this part's kind of difficult here Oh boy, hurts the nails. Just try to push it back on so it locks in. And the first one was easier than this. Oh, all right. Got it. All right. You put this back on. And then you put the gate on there. And you just push it down so it all clicks in. God, that sucked, man. Please, when you put this on, make sure you put it on right, because it is an absolute yeah to take off if you didn't put it on right. So match it up with the other one. Exactly match it up. And then put it on the same way. Ugh. Thank you. Oh! That was close, guys. Almost broke it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh! Okay. I'm sweating up a storm right now. It sucks. All right, guys. So basically now, you have the joysticks um, swapped out with the four-pound springs and the octagonal gates. So you're done with the uh, Senwa joysticks. Now it's just a matter of putting all the buttons into the holes here and uh, screwing in the uh, joysticks in the back of the uh, wood plate there. And then don't forget your uh, your dust caps here. All right, so I'm going to get started on that. Be back in a little bit. What's up, Raft Gang? So, um, so far, so good on the journey um, building the arcade. Here it is so far. Um run into a snag uh one of the companies i bought uh some parts from uh D diy retro arcade uh forgot to send the nuts for the buttons uh so they are very loose right now and not secure at all and um 
also didn't send the uh, the wiring for the LED lights to work. So another big bummer there. And, uh, and to top it off, uh, he's on vacation for a week. Uh, so I have to wait a whole week before I get those parts in uh, to secure the buttons down and to light them up. Uh, but for, for right now, um, I did get the um, the uh, coin, the 3D printed 3D printed coin up. As you can see there, that's just a sticker or laminate. And uh, I got uh, like a 3D layout here, 3D printout. It's a little more uh, texture to it. So I'm going to stick this. It's basically just stick it to the back so I'll be sticking that here but also uh, I picked up some LED lights uh, to poke through the, the little hole here I drilled right behind the uh, the coin door so it should light up um, we'll see if it works uh, so far I absolutely love this and it's so cool to see in the raft cave so uh, work in progress guys um, slowly but surely I'll get her 100% working oh and also I don't have the uh, the marquee lit up because I'm missing a female to female uh, barrel to connect the power cords to the other power cord. So little things I'm figuring out here along the way of modding the RK1 up. So it's just uh, gotta gotta wait longer before uh, she's finally 100%. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you in a little bit.